Hermano Rebotini from Black Strobe, and uh, I'm writing the music and singing this band. Today we are au Soleil de la Butte in Montmartre, and we're just shooting the uh, I Am a Man video. We just have to do the the opening scene this morning with me. I'm just setting up my hair and be dress up. And now we're gonna shoot some stuff for the black room and after the band. We try to have something uh, close to the spirit of the original, like psychedelic and voodoo ideas around magic stuff, like machist ID, you know, like the man and the 50 spirits and something between the kitsch and the dark. And uh, I think we're gonna have it. The idea of the opening scene and the, and the and the, and the whole video is to have something like the Saturday Night Fever and, and, and John Travolta's character in, in the movie to have this, this lad and, and, and just want to catch girls and stuff like that. And like, a, the, like the, the idea like to be a, a, like a, I could be like a, something like kind of 50 spims, something like that. There is some special guest, my wife is in the video, and we thought that we have like a really uh, interesting couple, you know, because she's really old fashioned too with the 50s dress and, and 50s makeup, so, so it's, it's gonna be really special for us. And it's gonna be like a, um, a good souvenir from this time. The single from, from our album, Burn, Burn Your Own Church, it's a cover version, it's a cover song uh, from Body Lay. And, um, it, it's a song with, uh, it's like a standard song and there's uh, tones of other covers and there is like a um, other song inspired by this one like Manish Boy from Muddy Waters, uh, Uchi Kuchi Man, there is a, a lot of, it's like something really classical in, in the, the blues history and in the rock and roll history. It's, it's, uh, I like the, the idea to have this simple song and just to have something from the 50s and, 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 and the lyrics looks really politic politically incorrect now, but it's just uh, 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 the story of uh, you know the rock and roll guy and think he's got a uh, the, he's the best man uh, for the girls. So that's quite funny and that's quite a bit cliche and, and a bit, uh, a bit uh, old fashioned and I like this idea. We take like something like two years to write the album and set up all the 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 live set and, and, and find the good guys for the band. Uh, because we started to do that, we, we are more, uh, in the beginning, a really dance electronic band, and we moved away to, to uh, another sound, something more classical, you know, with guitars, and, 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 uh, and, uh, and the, the writing of the album was quite long. We, we've been in studio with Paul Epworth and Alan Mulder, so it was a really interesting experience. The, the recording was quite quick. After we have the concept, you know, and, and the idea of the album and, and write all the songs to record, it's quite, we just spent like three weeks in studio to record everything and produce the record. And after there is like so maybe two weeks to mix it, something like that. The thing is that um, I like the idea from Stockhausen that to think the music like a sonic object. And uh, what I want to do with this album is like to use a lot of sonic object and, mi and mix it together. So a sonic object, it could be like a heavy metal sounds guitar uh, playing a blues part or whatever, you know, it's like to be really open-minded uh, to, to uh, use all my musical background and all the music I like to uh, to build my own music and, and uh, as my I've got my each one of his own musical personality with his musical background. So that's, that's what I want to show with the album. So there is a lot of things. That, a lot of people said that it's quite close to birthday party and and early Nick Cave stuff. So I think it's, it could be like something like that. Yeah. <laughs>